Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you an Iceland Volcanic Update Tuesday, March 2nd, 9 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. The activity on the Reykjanes Peninsula is currently ongoing. There is no change, a slight uptick in the last 24 hours, followed by a drop down. There are currently still around 1,000 earthquakes happening daily and now that we have new information on magma moving into the region. So USGS showing a single quake at 4.7, but we're going to show you the reality right now. The latest earthquakes in or near Iceland today in the past 24 hours. During the past 24 hours, Iceland was shaken by seven quakes, magnitude four or greater. Seven. The USGS showing one. It was also struck by 17 quakes between three and four and 102 quakes between two and three for a total of 130 quakes above mag two and 962 quakes below two mag, which would be just over right around 1100 quakes. So the event is ongoing. There has been over 11,000 quakes in the last 30 days. The majority of them centering on the Reykjanes Ridge area. And it has been confirmed, unfortunately, that a magma injection was confirmed in the Kryshuvik volcano. Kryshuvik, Kryshuvik, however you say that, it's right next to the Reykjanes volcano. And now the good news is the Kryshuvik, we're going to get to the data volcano, is less explosive and dangerous. But is prolific in magma fields. We're going to show you some potential where the magma, the eruptive activity will emanate out and where the flows will go to. Let's just uh, get on with the data we have here. It is now confirmed that Krishuvik volcano is having a large magma injection from depth into shallower layers in the crust, resulting in the current earthquake swarm that's been ongoing for days weeks now. At the writing of this article, it seems the magma is located at six kilometers in depth. And just days ago, it was at around 10 kilometers in depth, which, well, if you do the math, would reach the surface in just a few days. According to displacement and GPS recordings, it's now then more than 30 centimeters, according to the new data, as far as displacement. Um, now, the image above is from a uh, Facebook article from the Iceland Department of Volcanology or whoever's doing that. Now, what's also interesting is the activity in Reykjanes volcano. There have also been earthquakes in Reykjanes, but they have been fewer, but not necessarily smaller in magnitude. And there could be magma moving in there. It's just, they just don't know. But they have confirmed that there is magma moving below Kirishuvik in a dike, a sheeted dike. Now, what is a sheeted dike? Here's the uplift in that region. The populated regions are on the coast here. And as we go, come up out of the picture, and just to bring you up to speed there, and here is the daily update. So the activity has been confirmed to be only Krushevik volcano, and nothing is currently happening at Rakyanis volcano at the writing of this article this morning. Krushevik started to show changes late in 2008 and early 2009, and that has been going on since... Uh, as low activity. Krushevik volcano is strange in that it does not have a shallow magma chamber in the top layers of the crust, and this volcano size is unclear. This uncertainty shows in maps as different maps show different size and locations of Krushevik volcano. While there is no shallow magma chamber underneath this volcano, it does not rule out a deep, large magma chamber that does not show up on any seismometers since this magma chamber is located at the top of the mantle, 10 to 30 kilometers. So what they're saying is here is it could have a huge magma chamber at depth and we might not know about it. Now the largest earthquake since midnight at magnitude of 4.6 since around noon has been rather quiet for the volcano when it comes to large earthquakes. A lot of smaller earthquakes have been taking during this time and there is no signs of those stopping. The reason for all this activity is a magma dike that is now breaking its path up to the surface from 10 kilometers now currently at 6 kilometers. There is nothing to suggest that this process is going to stop or slow down. Drop in activity. And so, and 
as was seen just before the eruption at Bartabunga in 2014-15. So there may be a lull in activity before the eruption, but there is a sheeted dike headed towards the surface. Now, Earth Science Department of the University of Iceland released pictures that show the dike, and we'll share them with you because we got a hold of them. But basically, there's a thin sheet of magma that's coming up to the surface and splitting and filling a void, and that would be the new magma chamber below the volcano. Here's another picture of what that sheeted dike might look like. Now, Kruševec here, we do have some historical data for you, and the good news is that the eruptive history shows this rarely erupts above VEI-2 and historically erupts, well, at VEI-1 and VEI-2. So that's not a very significant eruption, but there are 80% of the population in harm's way. Rakiana's volcano, a little bit more explosive and dangerous, and these two may be connected. There's very little information and study about them, and so they just don't know. What we know is that they're both located in the same area where all this activity is happening. So buckle up. Now, there has been some studies on eruption susceptibility and where the fissures may first form, and they are out here in protected areas out in parks near the volcano where few people are. And you can see here roads barely getting to this region. Here are the populated areas, and there are even maps showing where potential lava flows will go, and they're all in the light purple here. The darker purple has higher probability, and those eruptive areas, the fissures, are in the brown, in the highest. So this is where the eruptions will probably start to take place, and you can see most of it's going to flow out here to the north towards the populated regions. And now that's bad news because this is where all the major roads are that get you to and from Iceland. So a lot of people might be cut off from these potential eruptive areas. So it's just a heads up because uh, I'll, let me show you what I mean here. Here is a, the majority of the people living in Iceland, probably 60% right there, maybe 70%. The fissures may open up here and the lava is going to flow towards them. That's our best guess. We're going to be monitoring this and keeping you updated daily as need be. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance, especially if you're in Reykjavik. So we're keeping a close eye on it for you from thousands of miles away. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boom. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people, people in Iceland, people that you care about in Europe. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge and be safe. That's a boom.